So raids are coming out sometime next year. I think it's January. It could be delayed again. They were got they were supposed to come out in December, but Jagex, the old school team, decided to delay them in order to make them as good as they possibly can be. And judging from the screenshots that Gmods have been sharing and the details, everything looks fucking awesome. I'm really excited for this update. But today I wanted to make a video for you guys about how to prepare for the raids that are upcoming. The combat requirement is non-existent. You, there is no requirements. The way the rewards work and the way you will be rewarded for doing raids is entirely dependent on how much you contribute to the raid and to your party and, and the success of your team. So if you go in there as a level 3 new account, you're going to get zero points pretty much because you aren't able to contribute anything. You can't catch resources, you can't gather the resources, you can't fight monsters, you'll be useless. You're just there as like a meat shoot for 10 HP basically. You won't be giving any rewards because you contribute nothing, but you can still enter the raids at level 3, at least that's what Jagex say. However, if you're a level 3 skiller and you have 99 fishing and 99 woodcutting and 99 herb lore for example, you will be pretty useful and even though you can't fight the bosses, you can't fight the mobs, you can't fight the enemies, you will still be rewarded with something because you're able, you're able to contribute to your team with food, with um, herbs and potions and stuff like that. So there is no real requirement. However, so far there have been some leaked, and I'm putting leaked in air quotes because I don't know if it's really leaked, it's just information that they shared. There's been some information about which skills we will need right now. I'm assuming that almost every skill will be needed in some way, but so far there has been some screenshots from the Jmods that pretty much guarantee some skills that will be needed in the raids. On screen right now you can see four screenshots shared on the Jmods Twitter from Mod Kieran and Mod Ash here. The first one in the top left corner basically confirms farming and herb lore. You can see a farming patch right there and then in this event and you can see a bunch of different types of potions that are only usable inside the raid. And on the right there you can see a skilling challenge. It looks like it will work similar to Winter Todd where you light fires in order to push back the fucking boss, whatever it's gonna be. It looks like, it basically looks like Winter Todd but miniature version in a raid and it will require fire making. In the bottom left corner you can see someone doing fishing and in the little red box there with the text in it, you can't read it probably, it says you can bring your own supplies but once they've run out you must use your skills to get more carefully. So I'm assuming that doing the skilling is a little bit dangerous so having some combat stats or a friend next to you who's high in combat while you're gathering food for them and cooking food for them so they can use it in boss battles. And on the bottom right you can see a room filled with a bunch of chests which I'm assuming give you supplies if you steal from them so if you have high thieving that's also going to help your raid buddies out very well. And at the bottom you can see additional bits of information that says what you encounter can be random, I confirm fishing, thieving, fire making, hunter, herb lore, farming. So those skills are definitely confirmed. The higher those skills are, the better chance you have at contributing more in a raid and getting better rewards. The second tweet says there is no minimum, but if the party is better at fishing slash cooking, we give better fish that heal more. So that means the opposite as well. If you if your whole party, if you have a raid of 20 people and they all have like level 20 fishing, you're not going to be able to catch good food that heals a lot, you're going to be able to catch shit food that doesn't heal a lot and so fighting bosses is going to be difficult, so just having high stats all around is going to be pretty beneficial. At the very bottom, the tweet here, I can't really decipher that well, I don't really know what it means, I don't know the context, but it says, no, they will all work equal. Cooking, for example, will be equal regardless of what skill is used to get the raw food. And that probably means that even if you catch shit food, the better your cooking level, maybe the better it heals once you've cooked it or the less chance you have of burning it because we actually don't know the burn rates of all this food here. So when it comes to a skilling sense, the skills that you should worry about leveling up and being prepared for are either farming, herb lore, fire making, fishing, hunter and thieving. Those are the six confirmed skills so far when it comes to resource gathering and helping out your raids. But I think if you really want to prepare for raids and get into groups and be actually effective and get points towards your reward, I would say fishing and hunter and farming and herbal are the four key things that you should worry about if you're a skiller trying to prepare for raids. However, raids aren't just all about skilling, there is some fucking awesome bosses. Look at this screenshot of this big fire boss with the crystals in the background, it looks incredible. And there's also one with like some blue crystals and the big giant skeletal priest and like a crab looking thing. Obviously having very high melee stats, range, maybe magic as well is going to be beneficial and give you more rewards compared to someone who has lower stats. In terms of preparing for this, I would imagine getting a few friends together that you will be raiding with when the raids come out and doing bosses, God Wars Dungeon, you know, just do a bunch of bosses with your friends. In these screenshots here, you can see that the raid leader, the party leader, whatever you want to call him, can sort out players that are looking to get into raids by sort by total skill level. So they're just going to click that button, see the highest stated players and just invite them to the group. So if you're going to be low level, you're going to be a level 3 and you have like 76 fishing and 76 fire making and 76 wood cutting and you think, oh I'm going to go join a raid and help my team out. 
you're probably not going to get into a raid, honestly. Unless you're doing it with a group of friends or a party that you know. If you're like a medium-leveled guy that wants to do raids but doesn't really feel like you can, I would just focus on one thing. Focus on one thing that you can be really good at. It could be a skill, it could be a combat thing. But just to get it up there so when someone's looking for raids, they're looking for someone that can fight bosses. If you've got a high combat level, you can fight the bosses. You may not be able to skill, but you're going to be able to fight the bosses, so you're going to get invited to that. If you have a low combat level but high skills, just focus on getting your skills up, you'll get invited to raids because you can supply a lot of supplies. Make sure you level up one of the six things, one of the six skills that I mentioned earlier in the video on the screenshot. If you don't have money and you want to do raids, get a cash stack. Try and build a cash stack. Do Slayer Camp Wyverns. Just do something to get a cash stack because you're going to be having to buy a lot of supplies and all those supplies are going to be rising in price when raids come out. People are going to be profiting on that like hell. If you already have like 70 plus stats and everything and you have like 90 plus melee stats, you're in a pretty good position. I would say just get a cash stack. And that is how you prepare for raids. You can do one of those six skills as recommended or you can just focus on melee and become the, one of the chief bossers who's going to fight the bosses for your team. If you already have high stats and you're looking still how to prepare for raids, having money for the best armor you can wear and having money to buy supplies over and over again every time you want to run through a raid, that is my advice on how to prepare for raids, guys. I hope it helped you out because it's definitely helped me out. I sort of made this video as much as I did for you guys as I did for myself because I'm now teaching myself how to prepare for raids because I've done the research. So hopefully I can be as prepared as you guys for raids and we can do them together. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully I see you next time.